A superstar gets a certain feeling when he knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different condition than he entered. That's not exactly a comforting thought when it's your career. I don't know where Adam Cole gets the nerve into thinking he can come in and take what he wants. Saxton, he doesn't just want to take everything. Adam Cole wants to rule the entire industry. As we get started here, I wouldn't mind if we got through this match without having to hear you two bicker. What grace! Float over into the... Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. Destroyed. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right out there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. He's starting to feel it here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. A great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. And I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level. But did he go for it too early? The situation just got real bad for Killian Dane. He gets the shoulder up in time. How in the world? I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match, where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Stock. He's fighting from underneath. Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. It's gonna take more than that. Oh my goodness, crushing it! When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody thought they'd see Seth Rollins on that night, especially Roman Reigns. And dang it out of there just in time. No, there's the reversal. If you ask me, guys, he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. What does Killian Dane have in store? That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. He had it locked up and made his opponent tap out. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. Dane has got to be feeling good about this performance tonight. What's not to be proud of?